It's another Jubal phone tap. Let's go! 107.3 KFFM. This is Mom's department. This is Karen. How can I help you? Karen, you f***ed me over. <laughs> Sir, this is the Mrs. Men's Department. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, no, I don't. I definitely have the right person on the phone. My name is Seth McElroy, and I was in there last week, and I bought a tie from you. Do you remember? I'm sure you do. I sell a lot of ties to a lot of people. You're going to have to be a little more specific. It what, was a, what day it, was it? It was a red tie. <laughs> Can you give me any more detail, like Fine. what day you were here or Fine. what you looked like, something else to help me remember? Yes, yes. I came in there. I needed to buy a tie for a big promotion that I was up for. You and I spoke. You suggested I should go with this red tie, which you said like, oh, it helps with like show power and success and stuff like that. And so, Sorry, I'm- sir. I don't exactly remember you. I had a lot of those conversations, but I'm really... I'm sorry, it sounds like you're not happy with the tie that... Not happy? That tie ruined my life. I didn't get the promotion because of that tie. How would a tie not help you get a promotion? Are you arguing with me? I'm not arguing with you. I'm just, I'm curious. How would it be the tie's fault? Um, I don't know because it was a terrible choice by you, and maybe I went in there with a horrible tie on, and they saw that, and they're like, no way we're giving this guy a job. You ever think of that? Sir, I hardly think it's fair for you to blame the department store where somebody sold you a tie as the reason for you not getting your promotion. Oh, are you going to tell me the same thing that they did? What? You're going to run some, like, bullshit about how I'm not qualified enough or whatever? It was the tie. It was that stupid red tie. I know it. Sir, are you okay? Oh, no, I'm not okay. You owe me a job. What's going on is that I came in there and I trusted you, Karen. And is this what you do? You just toy with people's livelihoods for your own amusement, you psycho? I think this is all just some kind of misunderstanding. Oh, no, I understand completely. You see some idiot walking in there hoping for a job interview, and you're like, how can I give this guy a kick in the shorts? I'll give him a horrible tie that will make his bosses laugh at him. And you I would, would do, never do that. You did it to me. Sir, do you have anybody at home with you right now? Maybe like a uh, a close friend or a relative? I did. To you about this? Yeah, I did, but they're gone now. She left. Well, where did they... She left because I didn't get the job promotion because of your tie. And she took the dog. Oh, God. And there's nobody else? There's no neighbors or family that lives nearby? Nobody wants to talk to me because of that stupid tie you sold me. Oh, oh my God, sir. I am so sorry. You should be. I don't even know what to say. Do you realize that by you selling me that crappy tie, which was overpriced, by the way, you set my life spiraling out of control? I did not realize that, and that was never my intention. I'm going to lose my house. My wife is gone. I can't get the promotion at work. The dog, she took my dog. And now I've got erectile dysfunction on top of it. Excuse me? I haven't had an erection since you sold me that tie. It's ruining my life. Okay, sir, that's a little bit too much information. (laughs) It's not. You should have known what that tie would do. I don't think it's the tie that did anything. (laughs) It is. Sir, are you crying or laughing? A a little bit of both. (laughs) Why a little bit of bull? Because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. No way. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, it's a joke. Your friend Kayla set you up. No no way. <laughs> I am going to kill her. She says that you get a lot oh of ridiculous. She says you get a lot of ridiculous complaints at work. Yeah, but not that ridiculous. <laughs> Jubal phone taps. phone taps. Catch him every weekday with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.